Hi guys and welcome back to another mailbag video. As you can see I received uh, some stuff, uh, two small parcels and uh, a big one over here. So without further ado, let's open to see what I received this time. So I'm going to start with this one because uh, I don't have even a listing to show you because it was uh, only uh, one piece on eBay I got it. Because I was looking for a chassis to build my uh, single end and class A uh, headphones amplifier. So I was looking for uh, devices that you know in, uh, in eBay you can find that uh, there is devices that are not working so they are selling with really low prices. So I was looking actually to find something that is not working to use the chassis to build in a, inside the uh, my headphone amplifier so i so this one was uh, nine pounds 50 was selling so i went there and i make an offer because it was accepting also offer that seller and i make an offer with eight pounds and looks like the seller accepted and look is here so i received this one in 14 june and uh, looks really nice looks really no scratches looks like new it still has that uh, foil to peel off so yeah it's not working is a pu public access uh, audio amplifier definitely is a class d with a transformer to make this output of 100 volts and is mono is not stereo channel but I so I say I ordered just for for the chassis and for eight pounds knowing her that you can find a nice chassis like that so now that I saw the size is quite big for the headphone amplifier I have three options to do in this one so I might can build a class D amplifier on this chassis or I can build my uh, preamplifier on this chassis or I can still go into build inside my headphone amplifier so please let me know in uh, the comments down below guys what you will gonna might build with the, um, with the chassis like this one because there is plenty of space inside and also looks cool yeah so please let me know down in the comments down below what you would like to see that i am building with this chassis okay so now let's go to the next uh, parcel so here we go this is the this amplifier which is uh, say here not working for parts only which i say that i pay eight pounds and if we go to the listing as i say it says that the item is out of stock because i say it was the last piece looks like they had five so they they sold five and it was as i say the price nine pounds 99 and uh, as i say on description it say no this item does not work and this is sold for parts only please keep this in mind before placing an order so that's why i make an offer with eight pounds and looks like the seller accepted and it's here already so i'm gonna see now because i say i'm confused i'm gonna see what project shall i do in there is three options so maybe you guys can leave your comment down below and we're gonna give me an idea what to build inside okay so let's see what is this one which i received on 21st june should be some description underneath but uh, i don't know why they are covering but anyway we need to open to understand what is inside so empty bag and here we have very poorly packed just a little bit of bubble wrap and then this uh, ac socket so this ac socket i ordered it for my soldering station project and uh, yeah has a fuse built in let's see if the fuse is there if i can open that one in some way let me try to see with this one maybe i have a screwdriver here around so let me have a look for a screwdriver and try to see if there is the fuse over there yeah there is a a spare one and there is no there isn't any spare one there is only one fuse which goes there usually the spare stays here but there is no spare over there it's empty so yeah there is the fuse anyway is there and it says that is uh, rated to 6.3 amps well that's okay so yeah this is for the project of the soldering station project so please stay tuned please activate the notification bell subscribe to don't miss uh, when i'm gonna start doing that project because i'm waiting also a few other bits i hope that is in this mail baby video all the bits that i need for that uh, soldering station like that i can start doing so now let's see 
from where I buy how fast moved over here and how much cost me that uh, AC socket. So here we go. This is the order for the AC socket. So I ordered it on 15 June. So I receive it on 22nd. So this means seven days delivery. And I pay a total of one pounds 26 pence. So let's see the listing. So you can see they were gonna say one piece LZ 14 F1 three pins. I believe yeah three pins. Panel mounted plug connector IE. C320 C14 10 amps 250 volts AC electrical inlet module power socket with 10 a 10 amp fuse but there on the socket that I receive is a 6.5 something like that but it's really strange anyway for what I have what I need for the soldering station is more than enough and if you are interested I'm gonna put the link on the description down below so here we go this parcel I received it on 24th 06, so 24th June, and it's a nice parcel from uh, AliExpress with this uh, packing of uh, Euro 2024, really nice, Germany. Yeah, so let's open to see what's inside, because uh, no description. So we open to see what's inside. So inside I can see there is a few few things. So I have uh, some pot, this multi-turn potentiometers, which they really poorly packed, the pins are bent. Okay. So what I know I ordered four. So yeah, there is four pieces. And then there is another thing over here. So I'm gonna start with the potentiometer. So potentiometer they should be 10k multi-turns. So it's not marked over here. So let me open to check them to make sure are 10 kilo ohms. Because I ordered for my uh, dual uh, rail uh, linear bench power supply because the ones that I use there I have it just in stock. It was the 50k. So usually there on the schematic of that uh, boards they need to be 10k. So I don't have in stock 10k. So I order. So yeah, they are 10k. So there is four of them because two are for the current and two are for the voltage. So I should have one. Let me give a quick look if it's 10k. Also this one. And it says there 10k two. This one also it says 10k on 10k yes and what about this one the last one and this one also is 10k yeah so let's see the listing how much I pay on this uh, potentiometer and how fast they moved over here so here we go these are the potentiometer which i order four pieces and 10 kilo ohms and i pay a total of four pounds 61 order it on 15 june so 10 days delivery till here so let's double check the listing so in the listing is 3590s potentiometer 2-103 1k 2k 5k 10k blah 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 i should also 200 ohm 500 ohm precision multi-turn quality adjustable resistor so yeah this are the values that you can order and the price it's uh, different uh, between the values of so one kilo ohm is 0 0.97 100 ohm is one pound 26 and so on so if you are interested on more uh, values so here you can choose from and i can see there is a lot of people that they put five star reviews for for this uh, potentiometer so should be a good one and here it says that you can also use a maximum voltage on it to 315 volts and uh, temperature is uh, minus 55 degrees celsius plus uh, 125 degrees celsius and it says that is two watts uh, potentiometer by the way and if you are interested definitely you're gonna find the link on the description down below and here we go the last item for this mailbag video it's this uh, soldering iron stand it uh, looks like kind of plastic the the board uh, the body then has this piece of metal over here here has rubber and here has also rubber where you clean your tip and is this uh, ordered same for my project the t245 soldering station and there looks like there is uh, the contact 
to this one contact with this metal because uh, I don't know if you know the T245 soldering iron has a contact through the pins here through this one and back to the um, controller as soon you touch this metal over here it will gonna switch it off the heating so like that is more uh, efficiency because uh, you will not uh, consuming power as you know how there is a t12 the t12 is you put it down and then because the sensor inside is not moving the vibrating sensor is not moving after one minute or two minutes then it's switching off but this one as soon this one touch with this one straight away switching off so that's why for t245 uh, soldering station you need a special uh, stand like this one with the metal to touch this uh, to switch it off but uh, the unique things that uh, I think I'm gonna might do is maybe I need to change this one because uh, no there I can keep this one but at this end I think I'm gonna add uh, I'm gonna add a different connector because uh, as far as I can see there you you need just not is not hurting or something and it's no need two wires it's just only one wire which is the central one i can see there what is uh, solder it so yeah so this is same for the project of the soldering station so now let's see how much i pay on this um, soldering iron stand and how fast moved over here so here we go my order of the soldering st uh, iron stand if i order on 15 so this means 10 days delivery as well and i pay a total of seven pound 79 pence so this is the listing so universal c210 c245 c115 metal soldering handle holder for gbc i2c sugon iphone ixun handle holder welding table slip base tool boom strange uh, thing so here you can choose between the C210 and uh, C245. I don't know what is the difference. Maybe the size of the diameter of the iron where it's going to be inserted over there. I don't know. I don't have a 210, so I cannot be precise on this one. What can be different between them two? Ah, looks. Ah, this one says on this one which diameter. Oh, he's always saying, thinking that it says the diameter of that hole, but doesn't say. Mm, let's see if it say anything down here. So here is the description, the same what is the title of this one. Feature intelligent welding table bow. The slip mode automatically results the tip temperature when the tool is in the stand. As a result, the tips life lasts up to five times longer. So say that C210 need a slip base with ground wire and this tree because the T12 is different. So that's why it doesn't say the difference between one and another. So that's why I say I'm not precise why there is two advertisers there that you can choose between them if it's not say what is the difference between anyway i'm gonna put the link on the description down below if you are my interested on one of these uh, soldering iron stand and here we go a nice uh, mailbag video also end up over here so these four potentiometers are for the dual rail power supply to change the ports over there because are 50k and i need 10k on then this AC socket and uh, this uh, iron uh, stand are for my project that will gonna be soon. The, well, I'm gonna build the T245 soldering station, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe, activate the notification bell to don't miss uh, that project. And this one, as I say, please let me know in the comments down below what you prefer to see that I am building in a class D amplifier. A pre-amplifier which I say we're gonna build from uh, kits from Aliexpress or my uh, class A single-ended headphones audio amplifier if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and activate the notification bell to don't miss my next projects until the next video guys have a good day and bye bye